Hey guys, this is Corey Bison over at Bicious RV in Junction City, Oregon. I'm here to show you the East to West Tandera. It's a 286 RL OK. So this is an extremely competitive rig to the market of who's doing this exact thing. This is, I feel like they've topped it and it's just because of the slight tweaks and layout and features it comes stocked with. So first of all, we have the front bay opened. Um, that's where your generator would go if you're gonna get one installed. So um, also I'll point out the fact that this is the size of the front cap. This is a mid-size front cap. So that's gonna kind of save you on some, uh, the best way to explain it is you can put a lighter truck under this because this is not gonna be the heaviest thing in the world. And basically what I'm meaning when I say that is the, just the size of the height, the, the ceiling height and stuff. So when we get inside, you'll get to see what kind of that looks like on the inside, but on the outside, you're gonna kind of have some clearance going on. So here's your through storage bay right here. And also you'll notice that while we're coming up, the awning goes all the way from your door to the very front. So that's kind of nice. Okay, moving on into here, you got this, um, solid steps right here so these are really nice they're super safe when I step on them they don't squish or sway like the old floating ones used to do now coming right up into the rig this is a floor plan that uh, everybody has done and um, it's amazing how just small tweaks can make this make a lot of sense so coming inside here you're gonna notice this is where your living room setup is so here's your um, love seats. They can recline and stuff. This one will be a bed. So then when you face right here, this is your entertainment center. This is a massive TV, uh, super nice for your entertaining, for your guests or whatever, or if you're just a few of you. Now look how big this space is right here. It goes all the way back. For reference, it's my whole arm. So that deep. So that's super nice for you to put, you could fold up blankets for days in there and pull them out or whatever. That's a great space. You also have this secret little spot right here too. So that's where they hide the little stereo controller too. So it kind of gives it a sleek, simpler look when you tuck things like that away. It also does have built-in speakers. Just wanted to point that out and a fireplace. Good way to have electric heat. Now coming on over to here, you'll notice this isn't like a total carpet slide. So even though they had to do it this way, it's still like this sort of, I don't know how to explain it. Let's get a closer look. You know those like those uh, woven chairs that go outside that you might have in your backyard? It's like that material. So water, stain, stuff like that is probably pretty invincible to that stuff. Now pointing out the seats you have here and you have this sort of a couch-ish sort of setup. Um, really comfy, really good for, um, you know, eating and stuff like that, whatever you're going to do. Now, this is what makes it super competitive. I have a couple brands here at the lot that do this exact thing for the same price, and none of them have this. This is why I think is a huge, you know, a huge benefit. The fact that you have like a real pantry. There's some rigs out here that literally don't even give you a pantry at all. You'd be surprised. This is super awesome. This makes it, something you could like last in and you don't have to like keep going to town to get more stuff because you ran out because you didn't have storage to just get enough in the first place so that's a huge benefit um in their floor plan just like little tweaks like that you have a spot up here as well these are all really reliable cabinetry too you have these like metal shocks and you have these um better hinges they're just not gonna break they're just not gonna they're not going to go bad. Super strong. Here's your refrigerator and your freezer set up. Okay, bring everything with you. Because you can. I'll point out above here. That's my whole arm just like the other one. It's as deep. That deep. Right above your fridge. That's huge. If you needed any more space, they gave you the whole thing over there anyway. So this is kind of another thing. I have, like I said, I have another brand that does the same thing, but worse. <laughs> Funny way to put it. The fridge is usually right here. And then they'll do like this counter spot on that side of the cooktop. 
Now, such a small thing, just trading it, but like I said, the same rig, you just move stuff around in the floor plane a little bit. When I'm sitting right here, I have all this feeling of open space. Heck, I have a spot to put my cup or whatever. This opens it up massively, it makes it feel really good. That was a great idea, putting the fridge over there. And then just not even putting cabinets that come down here, just keeping it open. You also have a light right here, so when the power's on, it just, you just, it's a good vibe right here. Now coming on this side of the island, you have this thing right here, the dry rack. You can put your wet dishes on top. Space in RVs are always kind of a struggle, and that's just kind of how it is. So it's kind of nice, you can put your things right here, and then it'll just drain the water into the sink. Then you get some storage right here. This is your trash can. That's super cool. It's funny when they think about stuff like that because a lot of rigs don't. Sometimes when you buy an RV and then once you own it and you bring it home, you think to yourself, where does my trash can even go? And some of them have nowhere. You can't even put it anywhere. But anyways, here's your underneath spot too. Um, I like how they divided it up right here so you can get under there. That's kind of nice give you two spots instead of one really big spot that you'll never utilize all the space from. So really good color palette I'll point out too. This makes it really bright and opened up, okay? So kind of the thing about it too is um, there's kind of this huge popularity in sort of this wider color. So currently right now, if you want this rig, this is the one color they offer. New colors to come in the future, I'm sure, but as of right now, this is kind of what we got. It's very popular so far. Here's your bathroom setup. <clears throat> so fully molded fiberglass shower. That is a huge benefit. Other rigs at the same price point are offering that. You know what they're offering? Is they're offering the same wallpaper on these walls and they call it a shower when they stick a tub in the ground. You've probably seen that because it's on a lot of travel trailers too. Rigs at this price point don't come with that fully molded house-like fiberglass shower. And then your, por your toilet is porcelain too. Uh, you don't need a porcelain toilet, but it's just nice when it has it. You'll be happy. It's not going to have any issues. And um, yeah, you get this little storage spot right here behind the mirror. Little sink space. So it's really, really nice. Now coming on into the bedroom. North-south bed. Okay, so you have, you know, you can get into bed from both sides just like I'm showing right now. That's a huge benefit. The fact that you have this storage right here all the way across. These are connected. They're not individual cabinets, as you can see, all the way through. So that gives you the opportunity to potentially fit longer things in there. Our ceiling height. So this is the middle size front cap. Remember how I said that? I am not really uh, suffering with ceiling height in here, and I am 5'9". So it gives you kind of an idea of what we're looking at. Of course, it slopes down the more we go in the front. Um, that's for aerodynamics, and uh, that's kind of just a thing a middle-sized front cap is going to offer. That's why they put the bed like this and the closet right here instead of the other way around, because when they put it the other way around, then things don't fit right. So this is, this is actually, it works out even though it's small. You might want small because this is kind of, I mean, they get smaller than this. So anyways, right here you can fit the combo washer and dryer where it's just the one unit that does both. It washes and dries. If you don't want to fit that in there, then just keep it the way it is because it's set up for closet mode being that there's a, a rod up there so you can put your hangers up there. There is a light in there as well. Now they gave you all these drawers too. Those are super deep. You realize how deep this is going into that bathroom? This whole cabinet is taking so much bathroom space on the other side of this wall, but you didn't notice, did you? When you're in the bathroom, they did it so well that you didn't notice all this space was being taken for the closet. Scores us the no need for a slide closet, keeps us saving on weight. Because when the slide closet bumps out, the room doesn't get bigger. You just get like more drawers that you can get into. So we're saving on weight here. This is a very, very light rig. Most trucks, I'll, you'll be surprised, can probably handle this thing. 
This is one of my favorite rigs out here. I think they did the same thing that everybody's been doing, but they did a better job at it. Simply just kind of moving parts around and changing things. I think that this accommodates for things that customers already kind of ask for. So it's nice when brands just listen to their customers and just give you that for the same price on things that don't cost more, like just making a bigger pantry instead of cabinets and another counter, things like that. So if you have any questions on this rig or um, um, any of my other products at all, then just give me a call. My name is Corey Bystead, 541-735-1535. Uh, like and subscribe.